One of the more fascinating things taking place on board the International Space Station involves a movie actually being made in space. Uh, an IMAX film actively being shot by crew members on board the International Space Station, showcasing not only the beautiful views of Earth, uh, but an inside look at life off the Earth inside the uh, International Space Station. Marshall commentator uh, Lori Meggs out at the uh, Marshall Space Flight Center caught up with the producer of the film to learn a little bit more. The IMAX project is a film about our planet and our future on it and off it. Uh, and it is being shot on the International Space Station. We started last November and we'll be through shooting through to September of 2015 of this year. Well, there's no better vantage point than the ISS, right? That's exactly why we want to do it. Uh, we have a long history, IMAX does, of uh, taking pictures in orbit, and this is the best platform we know for studying the changes that are occurring to our planet right now. So I guess you had to train the astronauts to be uh, filmmakers then? We did, and that is, of course, a wonderful job to have because they are the best learners in the world and uh, very, very smart and creative as well. Where are we in the project? We are about a third of the way through our shooting. Um, we do other scenes on the ground as well, um, but the crew's doing an absolutely wonderful job. We're, we're deluged with beautiful images that uh, Commander Butch Wilmore and Terry Virts are sending down. Now, is it strictly Earth images, or is it kind of their day-to-day -day activities, too? Both, actually. We have one component of the film, which is the principal one, is the Earth views. But we also shoot interiors in the station of uh, the research that's going on, especially with a view to long duration, longer duration uh, space flights to other planets, what we're learning about that. And uh, we also do daily life scenes, how a crew lives in a closed system, such as a station and also prox ops, visiting vehicles, that kind of thing, EVAs. The long history IMAX has had is pretty popular. How popular do you think this will be? Well, it's my hope, of course, that it's the most popular, but uh, we've enjoyed an, an amazing success, and that's mainly because human beings pretty much universally are curious about space and uh, the environment around our planet. Things we can't see and touch. That's correct, and things that most of us can't experience except through the magic of IMAX. Do the cameras work any differently in microgravity? Have you learned anything about them? Well, these were brand new cameras. We weren't allowed to fly traditional cameras anymore because there's no up mass to get those great big cameras. Well, it's not so much the cameras, it's getting film back and forth. You just can't do it anymore. So these are digital cameras and we had not used them before either. I mean, other than testing them out in advance on the ground, but you can only do so much testing. And we have learned some things in, on orbit, you know, th things that surprised us that we didn't expect would happen that were good you know good things so uh, uh, it's a learning curve for both the crew and for us. Scott Kelly will be uh, flying up he's our next crew trained crew to go up and then after Scott will be uh, uh, Chell Lindgren and uh, Kimia Yui uh, from Japan. We've had great fun training all those guys. Was Butch the first? Did I, did I Butch was the first. And Butch had, because he was the first, and we were quite close to flight, he had a very abbreviated uh, training flow, and he's just done amazing things. He's just wonderful. That boy from, country boy from Tennessee? That Bubba from Tennessee, as he says. <laughs> he's wonderful. Well, we look forward to seeing your movie. Well, I look forward to finishing it and showing it to you. So how long do you think that will take? Like from when you get oh. things down, how, when will that? Well, put it this way, if I don't have everything done by September on orbit, I'm in big trouble because I have to deliver the finished film uh, into theaters in late spring of 2016. That may seem a healthy amount of time, but when you're actually making a film, it's not much at all. So it's pedal to the metal from here on in.